I was diagnosed with uh, ALS. And uh, although it, uh, that's hard to say. Although it doesn't seem like it, because uh, it doesn't affect my legs yet, uh, there's a lot of me that uh, doesn't work uh, quite the same. He has brain trauma. I mean, we all get tested in life, but not like this. I mean, where you have a, a disease that just kind of eats away at you every day. same tough, do what he's got to do to get it done kind of guy. What I would consider struggles, he probably doesn't consider struggles. Getting dressed, just daily activities. <clears throat> he didn't want to be known as somebody that was injury prone or couldn't take a hit. So he played through a lot of that. I mean, if you play football, you're going to play hurt if, if you're playing the game. I want to especially recognize Kevin Turner. Kevin was a star fullback since being diagnosed in 2010 with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Kevin has worked tirelessly to raise awareness about the disease and its possible connection to traumatic brain injuries. Thank you. Kevin truly was the very first player to recognize that there's a possible link. I saw Kevin when he was still a very strong, large man, very healthy, although he had some very minor limitations. You would not realize if you looked at Kevin Turner three and a half years ago that there was, uh, that this was gonna be his fate. Well, we were doing and singing and having an anointing to a punishment that we were doing to our own brain and doesn't make sense. You know, I knew he was a tough guy. I mean, uh, but I've seen it go so much further than I really imagined. And a little slow right now. I have never one time heard him say, why me? You know, never. I'm hoping that I am they all this thing for four years a month. I know when I was in my 
want me more than you and me. But you never know.